Okay, so over here at Occupy Honolulu, we are uh, taking defense courses. Ah, you try to walk with the same hat! <laughs> and we have fencing gear. You have a good one, man. Thanks for coming to Food Nut Bombs. Sure. We have fencing gear. And we have, you know, billy clubs and makeshift sword things, sticks, and all sorts of other uh, fancy little gear. Some of the people are already leaving. We had a nice big crew of people practicing here, but we'll see if uh, they start back up. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up of what we do here at uh, Occupy Honolulu. <laughs> we want to have uh, all the fence, fencing gear. And we were just uh, finishing up on uh, Food Nut Bombs. As you can see, we have uh, the gathering of everybody here. Bo is occupying D'Angelo's lap because hey, he's a tired dog. He was sleeping in my lap. And uh, he looks like he wants to go back to sleep. He doesn't like the plastic chairs. He likes cloth ones. He'll fall asleep on those. But for him to sleep on a plastic one, someone better be sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. This is a target area that's a whole lot. This is boy. Target is portion. Not the arms or legs or the the back or anything. They're different weapons. You notice this one has an electrical switch. Yeah. And this one has a hookup for electrical wiring. Yeah. This is called a dry blade. This is when you're actually fencing without an uh, electrical equipment. Okay. The saber, this one is a dry. The other one that's floating around here is an electric. And so you a main. What does this and do? The electric. When you're electric, they have a switch on the top. You have to push 750 grams of pressure. Actually, that's the uh, actual score point. Uh, so when you're in a match and you're fencing, they fence for five points or five minutes. Uh, the reason why it's like that is if you get hit, you bleed, you bleed yourself down where you won't be able to fence in five minutes. So all you need is one hit in five minutes. Uh, the pressure is enough that it will penetrate to your torso. Uh, the torso, if it goes in the torso and it will bend like this, that's enough hot where you'll get with an instantaneous reaction where it'll freeze you like a sneeze reflex. You actually have time to hit the guy and get out. So this is a real Wait, are you talking about like if it's not if it's a if it's it a, a real weapon. It was a real, real weapon, weapon. Okay. if it went in a quarter inch. Yeah. Your 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 body has a reaction. That's like a sneeze reflex. Oh. And what happens is you freeze. It's like when you close your eyes when you sneeze. It's like a shock or something. It's like a sh internal it's a, it's an involuntary reflex. Oh, okay. So what happens is when you hit the torso, and that's why they go for the torso. Oh. And when it once it once it goes in, you'll freeze, and then they just pull back out. You got enough time to get away without getting. Away. Okay. So that's the whole purpose. Of it. Well, why would we, we want to finish them off or something? Well, because he doesn't play that. Way. No, oh, no. Oh, if, if, if they used to play with it. Like Daniel likes Mortal Kombat. Yeah. He wants to rip the spine oh, of people I, out. The sport is, <laughs> is actually learned the 
time. Oh, the sport used to be. They used to play with real blades of the sport. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So this isn't real. It this is, is just. It's, it's, it's for, this is this for practicing, is, so you don't kill anybody. Oh. But in the old days, they had rapiers and daggers and shit like that. It was, it I got regular, them all. It was regular wear. Like, it's like that's how you settle. Just you have to learn the basics. Oh. You didn't just like argue at somebody and walk off mad. It's like you walked off like uh, either you um you submit to me. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Unless you're a woman, in which case they have this double violin thing, and if you have a small one, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to have the ambulance here soon. Because they're playing with, I guess, real ones. Whenever you guys fence. Always put up yeah, these are like real ones, I think, aren't they? And, and, and yeah. these no. are sabers, okay? Yeah, but now, I think that would still penetrate one of, if you I, hit hard. Since I'm the only one that really know how to use Feel it that. Here, yeah, if you hit hard. Because <laughs> I won't yeah. get hurt, but you guys could if you don't know what you're doing. Right so, wear a mask, blindfolds. <laughs> How's it going, Bo? Hmm? How's it going? Oh, my good boy. <laughs> so, again, we are uh, finishing up with Food Not Bombs and uh, practicing. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we're taking on defense courses. If I wanted to hit you. Yeah, how easy that was, that's very easy. Yeah. I put pressure, you're going to react. You're going to push. Whoop. Easy hit. I want to hit you in the head. I'll try it. Hit me in the head. That's easy, right? Hit me in the head. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> So if I want to hit you, very, very basic, it's a hit, like basic, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like the same concept, it's like straight up. That's crazy, they're stopped. They have to like slap each other? Well, so the reaction is with the point. Oh. There's also this thing called the okay. bride. Now, yeah, and the secret like to a save the fencing is on the wrist. So, so you, you want to have a glove. Like you can bend out. Or you're going to get your glove with your hand. It's hard to hit the head, hard to hit the stomach, very easy to hit the heat. Let's talk a little bit. So, pass it on to him, and you can watch how this is done. <laughs> we should just start slap boxing in the street. Like, you can't keep very Yeah, no. <laughs> This is <laughs> He's like trying to kick. Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> it looks like there's a there's a metal object heading in my general direction. I want to stop this. So I'm going to use my feet. <laughs> I want to fight John.
still uh, maintaining our tents every day. The city's very upset with that. <laughs> Look up on that pole we said. Let's see if I can get any closer. We have 24 hour surveillance of us now. Well, we have for the past few months, but it, they even trimmed the tree down just to make sure they can see us all. You know, right up on that pole there, you can see the little cameras pointed directly at. Ooh, wow, look at what we can see. The whole thing uh, camp. <laughs> That's been pretty interesting. <laughs> I could have just got you on the blade and watched it. Look at that. I'm a better fighter at sport than you, so I win. Sign off here. You guys have a good one. OHNL. Occupy. Talk to you later.